Hello everybody and welcome to another video from Oscar Cooper. Uh, it's been a while again, I, I keep putting these big gaps between my videos because I'm working very hard on them, uh, uh, honestly. And uh, yeah, that, uh, the first thing I want to cover here is that this is a video about racers, okay? So arcade's going to be in here, simulator's going to be in here. If it's got a car and you're going forward, then it's going to be in this video. We're going to stop off first with Trackmania. It's from Ubisoft, it's on the PlayStation Network and it's actually a very good game for the money. Uh, it's on the list because it does a lot of the stuff I want an online racer or driving game to do. One of them is having a cool campaign, the other one is having loads of tracks, and uh, there's not a huge focus on cars with this game, but there is a huge focus on solo and multiplayer. There's even up to four screens uh, split on this game, and you do not see that much uh, in games anymore. But look at the wealth of tracks we've got here, literally hundreds and hundreds of tracks. It's not the prettiest game on earth, it's getting on a bit now, but it looks great, it plays great. There's not too many any complicated uh, button arrangements or physics involved in the game it's just about hooning it uh, round a select number of tracks be it sections or be it whole circuits against the AI and a scoring various medals be it for gold silver bronze that sort of stuff I like it it's cheap it's cool it does what it says on the tin it's a very pretty little game and of course it features some couch co-op split screen this is awesome you can have loads of tweakable options here you can select all your different tracks it's a uh, it's very cool you can actually go online and have ghost cars racing with you from other players who've set times on laps and stuff. I love it to bits and uh, I keep going back to it when I have mates around because it's colourful, it's got a cool soundtrack, it's got a sort of tongue-in-cheek UI system and commentary. Very, very good. Uh, track Mania from Ubisoft on the PlayStation Network. I thoroughly recommend a look. So it's the first of our big hitters, first of our sort of full budget games and, and the first sim really in, in the in the list and it's uh, Assetto Corsa. Now this game is getting on a bit now, it came out in 2016 I think, but it still looks very good and it still offers a wealth of content. You've got a bunch of car sets here, not huge but a lot and you've also got a lot of tracks. Now this game takes itself very seriously when it comes to mapping the tracks, the sound recordings of the engines, realistic simulation controls, you can even have the AI aggression adjusted it's very very cool and it was really ahead of its time when it came out it's still a big name in the industry on the sim network and of course it's one of these games that definitely definitely get a wheel for or definitely get you know uh, a surround screen for it's where you can go all out with this game because it's it's definitely a huge sim racer a very cool really raw actually it's got a lot of uh, sort of difficult physics but they're not they're not a nightmare but it's it's not an easy game it, it, it takes its quite seriously um, it's got it's got a quite a cool soundtrack as well and, and, and I do love uh, the differences in, in car types you can go back quite far here with, with this is Escort 2000 and these things are amazing hooning these round was was so much fun uh, the campaign is very good very deep it's a cool career mode I, I like that in games it has to have a decent career mode and of course the online is still very very healthy still a lot of people out there playing this game where it shows its age a little bit uh, are the replays and of course if you're gonna some of the other games on this list are, are like major players on replay and I love the good replay uh, and it's not HDR compatible because of its age but that's not a problem you know it's huge huge fun and uh, again beware it, it's a serious racing game this is not an arcade racer by any stretch of the imagination but just look how cool it is uh, ragging these old cars around yeah it looks a bit dated but yeah a set of Corsa is not going to cost you a lot of money it's well worth a look. First of the rally games on the list, and I'll let you into a little secret, the only rally game on the list. Now, I'm a huge fan of Codemaster, and I'm a huge fan of the Colin McRae series, and I know there's a bunch of other rally games out there, and Gravel just came out recently as well, and that looks awesome. I haven't actually played it, so I can't put it on this list. But I love this game to bits. It's got a lot of different modes on it. Obviously, the, the career mode is, is the major aspect of, of the game itself, and, it, and it's got some incredibly detailed physics when it comes to bouncing around the track and the cars suspension and a lot of the realistic sounds and some really cool voiceovers with your guys that are, are helping you with the career mode. I want to point out there's loads of modes. It's not just Kane and 
down a hill in a rally car on your own, you can actually add in some AI and do these cool tarmac style joker lap things. You're probably aware of these where it's a circuit and you cane around and you get the chance to sort of zip off and do a quick lap. It's very good. The damage physics are amazing. Codemasters made grid, you must remember that. That had some brilliant damage physics and damage physics are important to me. I, I feel it doesn't you know feel right if you don't smash into something and something falls off and it's it's cool to see some of the uh, dilapidation on your car etc the replays are cool they're still looking good again dirt 4 is getting on a little bit now um, but it's but it's great you know to have a rally game with all these different modes and to be so colorful and to have a really cool soundtrack as well there's actually some awesome additions on this game yes wipeout omega collection time and Jesus Christ, if you haven't played this game, th th this is what you've been missing out on. I'm bending the rules a bit to include it. I know it's not really car racing, is it? But I mean, Christ, this is like Mario Kart on roids. This package when it came out last year blew my mind away. Huge fan of the series. And of course, it's a very pro PS Pro centric game. It looks really good on HDR and it offers uh, some seriously, seriously beautiful graphics. It has some awesome split screen, right? You can play online, you can add AI. Uh, it, that's important. There's not just two of you cane around the track and you can both go online and race randoms. It doesn't drop a frame. It looks absolutely beautiful beautiful. Uh, Wipeout the Amiga collection is a, is a mammoth, um, it's a phenomenon, it, it, it was such a great remake, it should not be ignored. Anybody who's into this sort of stuff and has never gone near this game, you are seriously missing out, it, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful game. Now let's move on to the next big hitter, the next big sim, and you might think, oof, blimey, this is a bit low on the list, but it's Gran Turismo Sport. Now Gran Turismo Sport has gone through a bit of a transformation. I reviewed it the day it came out, actually I got it early, and uh, there was a lot of stuff going around about it not having a decent campaign, and of course they have sorted that out. Well, I say sorted it out, what they've done is they've, well they've added something that's called GT League. Now this is, if you know the series, this is just like the old stuff where you're, you're unlocking leagues and stuff you know and you don't have to do the licenses to get well, I don't think you have to do too many licenses to get too far down this but I mean that's really good and that that must be making made a note of that they've actually bothered adding that and, and it's cool I've had a good bugger around with it and it's really cool now one of the things that, that this game deserves to be on the list on and ahead of a set of courses is its visuals are, are groundbreaking um, the HDR support is phenomenal and the graphics and the way that it, it works with the place PlayStation Pro is absolutely awesome. It's a huge, huge game, this, in regards to simulation, uh, realistic physics, um, really, really cool online modes. It was really online focused, this game, as opposed to campaign, so it's great to have that addition put in. I really love it um, because it actually took care of the split screen co op as well, and that's so important with racers. Uh, they just don't see it enough. There's loads of clutter on screen, and the problem is you can't add AI, and that's a bummer man because I know Forza does that really well over on the Xbox but it's there it's cool and of course you know one of the major things about about having a decent racer sim is is these is these replays and, and these replays are uh, you know nothing gets past them they, they're absolutely beautiful and the car range on the game is huge you go back really far um, it's you know the only thing this game was missing was a decent career mode and it just sorted that out and, and said right here you go have this so yeah Gran Turismo Sport, uh, we're halfway through, you might think that's dropped a bit early, but you know, they made some mistakes. Now, Burnout Paradise time. Uh, now, Burnout Paradise has been out before, this is a remaster. Anyone who's played Need for Speed or the recent Need for Speed Rivals or any of that hot pursuit shite that has been coming out on the current gen systems, you need to go and put those games in the bin and go and march down to the gaming shop and buy this on the remaster because this was the pinnacle of the series. Um, Creason had a nightmare with the stuff that followed up from this, they kind of dissipated, they never got back on their feet, but this was a 
milestone in open world and multiplayer. You just cane around, you go to junctions, you can just start a, a game or a race or, or whatever. There's loads of different race modes actually. that You can be marked man or, or do a hot route or, or lap or, or just hunt people down and get the kills etc. But it just is brilliant. The mechanics are nowhere near a sim, doesn't need to be. This is full blown arcade racer. You smash the hell out of everybody else. You get a really cool cutscene when you whack into the back of somebody. It works beautifully. It looks really good as a remaster. 2008, this game came out. 2008. But this version's got everything on it. You had this. You've got this big island stuff, which has got all these new tracks. You've got you've got bikes. You've got guest cars. You've got the fucking DeLorean. You've got the Ghostbuster car. It, it's got everything. It really has. And um, I made a lot of my friends get it because I've not had a good online experience like I've had with this game. I still remember it ten years ago. Look how quick I can just get into a lobby. You don't even have to stop driving. You just click the directional button a few times. Everybody's in the lobby. Everybody's just going to smash the crap out of each other. The, the lobby leader calls in the race when you want to do it and you can pick the tracks wherever you want it to go in the map this was a revolution at the time okay and it still stands strong now I think it should be looked at if you if you're thinking oh, it's a remaster it's 10 years old and yeah I've got a need for speed game this is a million miles from a need for speed game okay Crichton they know their shit and, and they were at the top of their game when they made this so have a look at it now finally we're, we're at the end and and this took a little bit of deliberation for me because there's a lot of talk about about Gran Turismo Sport and this game being neck and neck but personally I feel that this game sort of comes out on top for, for a number of different reasons now this is Project Cars 2 I played Project Cars 1 extensively and I, I got this a couple of weeks ago and, and I haven't really put it down for a number of reasons it visually it's awesome it's, it's totally amazing uh, and of course it's got a really strong career mode where you you span f through carts right up to you know Formula 1 series cars it, it, it's really cool and it offers you loads and loads of tracks and cars I think it's got the biggest number of tracks and cars of games on this list uh, but but what it does really well is is the progression the unlockable stuff and how it builds tension when you're racing so you get a practice lap you get a qualifier lap then you get put into the race itself and it's just it's awesome the tensions amazing there's so many variables on on damage and, and tire wear and fuel it's, it's it is a really good game with a pad and with a with a wheel as a simulator in itself. It's a it's a pretty pretty big hitter. It's a giant really on the on the series set and and of course it's it still is you know very very popular game, very very pretty game. The sound recordings are amazing. One of the things that sells me is the fact that the weather variables are ridiculous. You can you can have weather slots. You can say I want it to rain in the middle of lap six and it will just do it for you. And of course the dramatic change in physics when the road is wet is, is, is awesome Gran Turismo Sport didn't go near any of this and uh, this game does and of course this game also has a very strong damage mechanic it's uh, it takes damage very seriously cosmetic and mechanical you can adjust that as you want and um, brilliant brilliant game uh, again the replays they're not as good as GT Sport but they don't really need to be I think look at the detail on this car and the dirt specs and, and just how they taken into account the wear and tear of it came around the track. Uh, Project Cars 2 is still very strong online, uh, loads and loads of populated lobbies. It's a game that I am currently playing a lot, it's overtaken a lot of other titles on this list and just look at it and just listen to it, it's absolutely gorgeous, I, I, I love it, loads, deserves to be on the top of this list. You haven't looked at it and you've got some of these other games, go down and get Project Cars 2, I think it's going to be on discount soon as well because it came out last year but wow, have a listen to these engines and enjoy all these games guys and as always I will see you down there Just a quick outro guys to say thank you very much for watching and of course if you like what you saw like and subscribe i'm bang on it with playstation and playstation 4 content and i do a lot of lists and i'm going to have a very busy year uh, with you know putting out material so drop me a comment let me know what i missed and uh, again thank you